They say that way back in 1633, someone supposedly launched themselves into the sky on a rocket. Legend has it they climbed out at 1,000 feet and glided down safely with a set of wings. Sounds insane, right? But could something like that actually work? To find out, the team kicked things off with some small-scale tests. They built several mini-rockets out of paper tubes to see which design flew the best. Tori's design checked all the boxes for stability and altitude, while Grant's fell a little short. Next, they combined the best features of both designs to build a full-scale, man-carrying rocket. Then came the bigger challenge, how to land safely. The story suggested some kind of winged glider, but there was no way to unfold full-size wings inside a cramped rocket. So they decided to go with something more realistic, a parachute. Tori worked on the rocket body, Grant handled the engine, and Carrie was in charge of the parachute. Once the rocket and engine were finished, with everything ready, they headed out to the launch site and loaded 15 pounds of modern rocket fuel, enough to generate 950 pounds of thrust. When the countdown ended, the rocket actually lifted off, but it only made it to around 160 feet before spiraling out of control and slamming back down. The parachute never had a chance to deploy, and the dummy came back singed, clothes burned away. It was obvious the design was way off in terms of weight distribution and aerodynamics. Myth busted.